We just got the full roadmap for Season 4 Reloaded in Modern Warfare 2, and we have a bunch of stuff to cover. There are superpowers coming to the game, and they are going to be usable in DMZ. There's a brand new mastery camo to grind. There's a boys crossover event with a bunch of other stuff. There is a crystal head operator and a crystal throwing knife. Six-man teams might be getting a nerf in DMZ. There's new sectors in the battle pass, a full auto shotgun, and you're going to be able to play as a cat. We're going to be covering all this and more in this rapid style format video. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. First, we're going to quickly go over the roadmap there's even more stuff in the blog post and they go into more detail we've got the diabolical camo challenges so there's going to be a new unlockable camo and there will be a mastery camo if you get this camo on all weapons we've got the boys 10 v field upgrade which gets you a lot of interesting perks we'll talk about that a little bit later the boys theme map updates we've got the boys operator bundles this is their new crossover event there are going to be three separate bundles one on july 12th one on july 16th and one on july 20th and these are obviously the boys themes then we've got Warzone updates. Vondel is getting Battle Royale. There's going to be a new Gulag with it. Gameplay features, public event, return of Operation Scan. Uh, there's going to be a new field upgrade, portable redeploy drone, also called the Pro. Then we've got the Modern Warfare 2 updates. There's a new multiplayer map. And yes, this is part of Vondel. It's the water part area, so you can already do that. There's going to be the new raid episode number four. And with this, there's going to be a new camo and a new animated camo you're able to earn. There's the new MX Guardian shotgun, which is fully automatic. So that's going to be interesting. There is the new operator Izzy. Then we've got a bunch of new bundles. There's a Solus bundle. There's going to be Cat operators there's cyber riot 3 then the rest of these are already in the game there's not going to be a new black cell battle pass they're talking about the one that's already in the game magma flow is already in the game and the valkyrie code pack is already in the game as well now moving into the blog post the first thing they talk about are the new war zone changes yes vondel is going to be playable in normal battle royale in war zone this is going to have up to 72 players and with that there's going to be a new gulag for vondel this reminds me a lot of the showers from Verdansk. It's got that same very similar layout to it, so we'll have to see how that ends up playing. Then when it comes to Resurgence, there's now going to be a map rotation, meaning depending on when you're playing, sometimes you're going to be able to play Resurgence on a Sheik Island, then other times you're going to be able to play on Vondel, and they're going to go back and forth. So they're not both going to be available at the same time. Different ones are going to be available depending on when you're playing. Next, Occupation Scans coming back. This was originally only on a Sheik Island before it got removed. Now it's coming back and it's going to be on Vondel. The Signal Intelligent Contract is coming to Battle Royale. Right now, this is already in the game on DMZ. This is a Vondel exclusive contract. When you pick up this contract, it's going to have you go to three other contract phones hack them, then over time, you're going to get money. Still going to be in DMZ, but it's also going to be in Battle Royale now. The portable redeploy drone is coming back, but it works a little bit differently than how it worked in Warzone 1. The pro can only be employed by a single operator, so we'll have to see how that affects gameplay. And no, this can't be used in DMZ. This is going to be for Resurgence and Battle Royale only. We do have some news for DMZ, but this blog post doesn't talk about DMZ much at all. This is all they talk about DMZ, but there is some exciting stuff in here. Prior to the patch notes drop on July 12th, when more details will be revealed in Season 4 Reloaded, DMZ players should expect new options for Plea for Help, which is really interesting. Off the top of my head, I can't really think what they could be adding, but when you Plea for Help, there's now going to be new options. So maybe you can accept a Plea for Help, but just revive them and not accept them onto your squad. So if you're already a six-man, you can still revive players, but just not add them to your squad. That's not what they said here, but... That's all I could really think, but there will be new options for Plea for Help. New mechanics for assimilation. Assimilation is the mechanic that allows you to add people to your team. So when you see a different team and you, you know, request them to join your squad or you request to join their squad, that's what assimilation is. There's going to be new mechanics for this. I assume this is going to be something to kind of nerf six-man teams. It's one of the biggest complaints with DMZ right now is the six-man teams. So we really don't know. This is very vague, but we will be finding out very soon. Additionally, squad specifically hunting for other players may find themselves the target of a new hunt contract. So there's going to be a new type of hunt contract that goes after aggressive teams in DMZ. This is going to be interesting. So you can purposely hunt aggressive teams using this new hunt contract. I can't wait to see how this switches up the meta. We're also getting the fourth and final raid for Modern Warfare 2. This is going to work like the other ones. You're going to be able to go in with two other friends, beat the raid, and if you beat it, you're going to get some rewards. We don't know what all the rewards are, but we do know there's going to be two new camos. There's an animated camo if you beat it on veteran. Then there's going to be the Easter egg camo if you do whatever the secret mission is, and then you'll get some charms, a bunch of other stuff. We'll cover that when it comes out. 
all they talk about in this blog post is kind of setting up the scene, all the backstory, what's going to be going on. This is just storyline stuff. So I'll leave this link below if you want to read through it through yourself, but we're going to be playing through this in just a few days. So I don't think it's worth taking time here. There's the new MP map. And I say new, it's technically a section of Vondel. This is a 6v6 map. It, what's interesting about this, this is going to have a lot of underwater areas. This is probably going to have the most amount of underwater play of any multiplayer map. So I assume the FTAC siege is going to be a huge contender using on this map. Then we've got the new shotgun, the MX Guardian, and this one scares me a little bit. It's a fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun with three rotating magazine tubes that hold five shells each. What scares me is what they say down here. While the KV broadside reigns supreme in close to mid range engagements for a time, the MX Guardian has came to overtake the close range crown. So what they're saying is this shotgun right here in close range engagements is going to be better than the KV broadside, which is an absolute monster at close range engagement. So I assume in close range, this is going to be better, but at those medium ranges, the KV broadside is still going to be a better shotgun. Either way, I have a feeling on building 21 and on shipment, this is going to be a shotgun that a lot of people are going to use. I mean, it's the first fully auto shotgun in this game. Now let's go over how you unlock this because it's way different than normal. Now we're talking about the classified sector in the battle pass. And this is how you get this. So first to even unlock this sector, you've got to get one of the adjacent tiers. So if you're a free to play player and you're using the normal battle pass, you either have to finish sector D2 or D3. If you got the black cell battle pass, you just have to do D6. Any of these three will allow you to start working on the classified sector, but these aren't unlocked like normal. You don't grind, get battle pass tokens and unlock these. You actually have to do challenges. Once you complete these challenges, you're going to unlock an item. Then once you unlock all of them, you're going to get the MX Guardians. So the first one is going to be an emblem. You've got to get 10 ADS operator kills with shotguns. Very easy to get the calling card. You've got to get 10 hit fire operator kills with shotguns. Super easy loading screen. Get 10 headshot operator kills with shotguns. Then for a weapon XP token, get 10 one shot operator kills with shotguns. All of these are super simple. You'll probably be able to complete them in one game. Once you do all of those, you'll get the max reward, which is the MX Guardian, and that's earn all sector rewards. Or you could probably just hop into DMZ, have a friend drop it for you, and then exfil it. You'll also unlock it that way. But let's be honest, all of these can be done in one game on shipment. Next, we have the new boys crossover event in Modern Warfare 2. And this is by far the best crossover event we've got so far because it's more than just bundles. All the other crossover events were just bundles in this store you were able to buy. There are going to be three bundles with this event, but there's also going to be changes to Warzone that are, uh, yeah, you're going to get superpowers. That's what's going to happen here. And this is available in all modes in Warzone. So yes, you're going to be able to use this in DMZ as well, Resurgence and Battle Royale. It's not going to be in ranked play for obvious reasons, but this is a new field upgrade called the Tint B. And when you pick this up, it's going to act like a normal field upgrade. However, you're going to get unlimited uses when you use it once. It's not going to go away. You're going to be able to keep using it until you die. You are going to lose it when you die and you're going to get one of four random superpowers. You're not going to be able to pick which one you can get charge jump, which is going to allow you to jump up into the air and have zero fall damage when you jump down. There's electric shockwave, which is going to give you a giant electric blast that's going to damage enemy players around you, AI players around you, and it's going to destroy vehicles and equipment that are around you in that electrical blast. Then we've got laser vision. This is going to allow you to float up in the air and shoot laser beams out of your eyes. Um, This seems like the coolest out of all of them. I did not ever think at any point in time when playing DMZ, you'd be able to jump up into the air and shoot laser beams out of your eyes but that is what's going to happen. And you're going to be able to do that. Then the final uh, superpower is teleport. And this is going to allow you to teleport around the map. So uh, I don't know. This is going to be very, very different. And it seems like you're not going to be able to play without these. When this event is live, every game of DMZ and Warzone you play, this is going to be in the game. So there is a chance you could load into DMZ with all of your stuff, all of your money, and then... Uh, die to someone who's up in the air shooting laser beams so if you are planning to I, I would use an active duty slot that you don't care about losing your stuff unless you have one of these field upgrades if you've got one of the superpower field upgrades then definitely go in get all the riches out and win so I don't know. This is a really cool crossover event. I kind of wish there was also a playlist in DMZ where you could play without these because it is going to kind of suck if you don't want to deal with all the superpowers. 
but I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with this while it's in the game. Then we've got a new seasonal mastery camo grind, the diabolical camo. This is going to work like the previous events. There's going to be the generic gray version of the camouflage. Once you unlock this for every weapon in the entire game, you're going to get the mastery version. This one being red, it doesn't say if it's animated or not, and we can't tell because it's a picture. However, the last two event mastery camos were also animated. So I'm going to guess this one's probably going to be animated as well. So first, how you get the gray one for assault rifles, you have to get 50 operator headshots. And no, this doesn't have to be for every AR in the game. This is just for ARs in total. So once you get 50 operator headshots with any or a mixture of ARs, you're going to unlock the gray camo for all the ARs. For battle rifles, you've got to get 25 kills from behind. SMGs, 250 operator kills. Shotguns, 30 operator kills while prone. LMGs, 30 operator kills while using a suppressor. Marksman rifles, 30 operator kills while mounted. Sniper rifles, three kills without dying 10 times. Sidearms, get 50 enemy long shot kills. So since this says enemy and not operator, you can do this against bots. So I know 50 long shots with a pistol seems like a lot, but you could just head into DMZ and get 50 bot kills and this is gonna count. It's not gonna work for the other ones because the other ones say operator. It's only gonna work if it says enemy and not operator. Launcher is get 40 operator kills. Then melee is get 30 enemy kills. So once again, if you wanted to, you could take a melee weapon in and kill bots and DMZ and that count, but this would almost be easier on shipment. So none of these are that hard. It's going to be pretty easy to grind this out and you're not going to have a lot of time. There's not a lot of time left in this season before season five. I'll definitely be making a full guide on this camo and showing you what the mastery version looks like soon after the event drops. So if you want to grind this as quick as possible, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. That way you can watch that guide. Next, we've got the crossover bundles, which obviously is going to be the boys. The first one being Starlight. This comes with unique tracers with three different weapons having those effects also comes with a finishing move and comes out on July 12th there's a bunch of other backstory stuff here but we're not going to read through that then we have Homelander same thing has his own finishing move also comes with three different weapons with unique tracer fire then we've got Black Noir hopefully I said that right once again this one actually only comes with two weapons with tracer effects and then I think it comes with a melee weapon on top of that and he does have a finishing move I'm not going to read through all the backstory stuff here it will be linked below this one comes out on July 20th we will be reviewing these, the finishing moves, the voice lines, all that stuff when they officially come out. We've also got some other bundles here. We've got the Pro Pack 6. We've got Graffiti Tactical. And this is going to be the first Pro Pack that comes with pay-to-win DMZ features. This operator skin is always going to spawn in with a two-plate armor vest if you don't have a vest, even after you just got wiped. Then we've got the Whisker Tango Bundle, which allows you to play as a cat. And this doesn't look like an operator wearing a cat mask. This looks like you're playing straight up as a cat. So it comes with two different operator skins you got the gray version then you've got the orange version there once again this is going to come with pay to win dmz effects both of these operator skins are going to have a self revive every time you spawn in then we've got the uh reactive pack solace so this is going to be reactive operator skin this is ghost and he has a crystal head legitimately his head is made out of crystals this bundle also has tracer weapons but more importantly a crystal throwing knife lethal equipment variant this is probably going to work like the Crash Bandicoot grenade where it's got the different sound effects, also looks different when it explodes. I assume when you throw this, it's going to have different sound effects than the normal knife, and maybe it does something special when you take out enemies. I love getting these equipment with special skins on it, so obviously, we'll definitely be fully testing this when it comes out. And uh, this is another ghost skin. This is the second reactive operator skin for ghost there are only four reactive operator skins in the game and two of them are going to be belong to ghost i really wish we'd start seeing some cool cosmetics for other operators i know ghost is a big seller but uh, I don't know, give, give some of the other operators a little bit of love. Then past this, they really don't talk about anything important. There's the Black Cell Battle Pass, the free Prime Gaming Bundle. There are some small quality of life features coming to the Looking for Party system. There are going to be patch notes prior to the launch. Then there is going to be the World Series of Warzone designated driver pack coming out later this season. But that's everything here. Not a lot of stuff for DMZ. Some six-man nerfs potentially. There's also going to be the superheroes. The main thing coming is the new camo grind, the boys event. Let me know out of everything what we talked about, what you're most excited about and if you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to unlock that subscribe button i'll see you guys tomorrow